Hey everybody, it's Helen, I'm back. And this is the look that we're gonna do. It's kind of like a punk look. I don't know, just felt like doing it. So, um, with your fluffy shadow brush, we're gonna pick up this very bright, dark pink. This one right here. It's a gorgeous color, I love it. And we're gonna put that all over our lid and you're gonna really pat this one on. All the way from the inside corner out. And just on your lid, say, you know, you don't wanna put it in the crease. love this color. It's awesome. So, with the small side of our crease brush, I'm going to take this dark matte purple. This other one, um, the first color that we, sorry, the first color we used is also matte. And this is just going to go in our crease. And on the outside corner a little bit and same side of the brush and we're just going to start to blend that okay and now with our actual real blending brush we're just going to start and blend that color. Looks like I have a little bit, it's definitely darker on this side. So we're going to just try and blend it away. The more you blend, the softer your color gets. So let's just blend this purple. Okay, and now same fluffy shadow brush, just reapply a bit of that pink because you're going to lose some of that vibrancy. This side needs a bit more. And now for our highlight color, I'm just going to use this very lightest pink right here in our square brush. And start in the center and work your way out and then back in. There we go. And then I just blended that down and right into the crease. And that's really going to soften up that purple. And now, just take your white with the same brush, and you're just going to go right over all that pink that you just put on, just to really lighten it up. Because I want it to be very subtle, light pink. And the same... Again, just blend it all the way down into that crease color. Let me move my arm so you can see. Okay. And now with your Benefit Lemonade, and that little teeny brush wherever it went, 
like that. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> apply this along the lower lash line from the outer corner all the way in. Now, with an angled liner brush, like that, we're going to pick up some of this black right here. And you're going to line three quarters of the way. So from all the way on the outside corner, bring that baby almost all the way in. So about there, wipe that brush off, pick up some of this pink, the same one we used earlier, and that is going to go from the tear duct and meet right up with that black. Okay, now with your smudger, we're just going to smudge out all that black. And again, for time's sake, you're not actually going to smudge that pink in here, just the black, by the way. For time's sake, I'm just going to use my CoverGirl liner. And we're going to do the waterline. And make sure you go all the way into the tear duct. Where's that smudger? Okay, mascara. using the, the Rimmel. And you know, just a quick tip, if you're using waterproof mascara and you can't get it off, baby oil gel removes mascara really well. Just uh, something somebody else told me and I found that it really worked. So make sure you tip your head back, coat all your lashes, to tip. And then I'm just going to use the other one for the bottom. And voila! There you have it. It's a really awesome colored look. I love it. Hope you enjoy it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.